Welcome back to Weatherbox. I missed you guys last week. I actually had COVID and it kicked my ass. And unfortunately, I actually missed maple tapping season. This was the first year that I actually bought all the materials and then I tapped my tree. I got a little bit of sap, but I got sick right when the weather was perfect. And now I still feel like I have a mild concussion, but none of that matters because it's the most exciting time of the year for weather. And we got to talk about that right now. You may have heard somewhere down the line that March is in like a lion and out like a lamb. The origins of that phrase are actually a bit hard to pin down. It appears in Thomas Fuller's Nomologia, written in 1732, but the sayings could be biblical in nature. Either way, it refers to the tendency of March to be cold and stormy at the beginning of the month, and mild and calm at the end. Now, obviously, if you live in Florida or Los Angeles, then this saying does not apply to you at all. I don't even know why you're watching this video. But for your typical Midwesterner, let's take a look at March. Now, typically the winter pit of despair exists between mid-January and mid-February, encompassed by many snowstorms, below freezing temperatures, and extreme wind chill. But by the end of February, we finally start to see some pattern variability and some warmer air starts to creep to the north. But that warm air is almost always short-lived. In early March, the dominant cold air over the upper Midwest starts to weaken, and we often see weather whiplash where warm air builds into a ridge, a cyclone forms, severe weather occurs, and then the cold air comes rocketing back down to the south. And as you can expect, these colliding air masses officially kick off tornado season here in the United States. When we do get cold air diving down from Canada in the beginning of March, for our friends in the Great Lakes, the resulting lake effect snow is often very disorganized and fast moving. Instead of steady lake effect bands, we get broken snow squalls, and it often looks like a sunny summer day with small localized fast moving snowstorms. This has to do with the wind shear, air temperature, and wind direction not being supportive of steady convective snowfall. But typically, Right around mid-March, the trough that dominated the eastern U.S. collapses and a small ridge of warm air builds to the north. This does a couple things. First, it brings mild and sunny conditions to the Great Lakes through southerly winds, but it also creates a hot spot for tornadoes in the deep south. The Gulf of Mexico gets warmer before the Great Plains do, and in April and May, that warm instability migrates further inland. This is why the Dixie Alley tornado season exists before the standard tornado alley season. Well, how far north can those late March tornadoes occur? Because a tornado doesn't really line up with the virtues of a lamb. Well, to be honest, they can occur pretty much anywhere. In fact, a tornado killed seven people near Winterset, Iowa just last week. But it's less likely they will occur north of I-70, at least for now. By the end of March, most areas in the Midwest that were below freezing are now above freezing. Most areas that were cloudy are now much sunnier. And the surface wind blows out of the south rather than the northwest. That's what happens on average. The problem? The variability is gigantic. From year to year, March can be surprisingly mild, bitterly cold, flash flood city, or a dust bowl. On March 5th, 2012 in Cleveland, the temperature was 28 degrees. We then went on to have the warmest March on record and saw 11 days over 70 degrees. Four of those days were over 80 degrees. Four years earlier on March 3rd, 2008, Cleveland started off mild at 63 degrees, then proceeded to get 30.4 inches of snow and freezing temperatures in the following two weeks. To top it all off, we have a national holiday that involves drunken parades right in the middle of the most unpredictable month of the year. So sure, I guess on average, March is in like a lion, and out like a lamb. But the transition between the two is in no way, shape, or form linear. So just pay attention to the forecast. And on a brighter note, this year's St. Patrick's Day looks like it'll be in the 60s and mild. So get out there and enjoy it. Be sure to like and subscribe to push my videos out to a wider audience, and I will see you guys next Wednesday.